This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. We are going to check for understanding. Now, let's first read through these. Method, signature, return type, return, ooh, they're getting tricky, and void. So do not get intimidated. What I suggest students you do is attempt, right? So uh, consist of a name and a parameter list to exit a method and go back to the point of the program that called or requested the value. Specifies that a method should not return a value. Uh, void is nothing, right? So just take some guesses here. Don't hit submit, right? Because when you submit, well, if I'm your teacher, submit it to me or whoever your teacher is. The reason I say don't hit submit is we have so many resources. I'm gonna click up here on lesson nine and I'm just gonna scroll down. I know I'm on lesson nine, pada. And look, lesson resources. So I'm gonna take a look at these. And let's see, method signature, return type, return, uh, and void, right? So make sure to use your resources. A method signature consists of the name of a method and a parameter list. Now, I'm actually going to go back a uh, bubble because I want to show you it. Here we are. This here would be a main method. It's a method signature. This also is as well. We give the method a name, uh, a parameter list. That's what this thing's called when you can pass it, right? That's a method signature. So, bloom. It's a fancy name for it. And it's called signature in part because it's the name. When you sign your name, that's your signature, method signature. Okay, return to exit a method and go back to the point in the program that is called, that called it, or that requested the value or information. Return to exit a method, boom. And what is that? That would be, well, this method doesn't have a return. That's why it's void, it returns nothing. But say we said return a color, right? And so that would return whatever value we pass to it. This method doesn't say return, but it technically returns automatically at the end of it. And all that means is fancy speak for it keeps running the program afterwards, right? So this method returns after it runs and all that means is we keep running the program after that all right so the value return before the method completes its execution that is a return type here it would be void uh, but we could return a string so on and so forth and just to double check specifies that a method should not return a value so please use your resources onward